What's up guys, Kills in here, and welcome back to the Lux Road Trip. If you haven't watched the first part of the series, I highly recommend that you do so. In this installment of Keith's journey, he begins his first big goal, to clear the city of Levenberg of the undead. So without further ado, let's see how it goes. On day 16, Keith sets out to secure a base inside of the city. This will allow him to make shorter trips between expeditions. Keith could already envision what he wanted this place to look like. The first thing that had to be fixed was the fence. Once the area was clear, Keith put up some frames. He would like to put some gates here later on when he is more experienced in carpentry. Now that the hole was patched, he could focus on other things. And with the factory now secure, Keith checks out for the night. On day 17, Keith decides to check out the neighboring buildings. He didn't expect there to be much resistance. He was wrong. Thank you. 
one after the other, they kept pulling out. Coughing from exertion, Keith couldn't stop fighting until they were all dead. His jacket had stopped the bite. He was lucky. The street was becoming more and more bloody by the hour, and there was still more to kill. His trusty machete had finally worn out.
he saw that there were even more down the road. Troy did the smart thing and retreated for now to gather better weapons. He stumbled upon a HitVids VHS store. This could have some important items. The streetlights illuminated, signaling that it was now night. He 
Keith took a quick peek inside, staying low and quiet as it not draw attention. But the undead were closing in. His exertion was getting the better of him. Heath would have to cut his trip short. He made his way back to the factory and fell asleep in his truck. On the morning of day 18, Keith set out to settle unfinished business. Now that the area was clear enough, Keith could loot. He took any tapes that looked educational, as well as the TV.
he binged all of them as soon as he got home. It was a nice escape from the haunting reality. After that, he set back out to the other factory to gather some additional supplies. Just in case the power went out, Keith installed an antique oven to keep him warm. He was quite drowsy from all this hauling, so he clocked in early. Because of this, he woke up in the dead of night. So he decided to check out the police station nearby.
the garage had plenty of supplies, too much for Keith to carry. Once his bag was full, he headed back home. After dumping all his loot, Keith goes back to bed. And that is where Keith's story is thus far. If you've made it this far, I want to thank you for watching till the end. If you like this story, please consider liking the video. It helps me out a ton. And if you want to stay notified for when Keith's story continues, hit that subscribe button. It is totally free, and you can unsubscribe whenever. From now on, I will be recording all of my videos live, so check the community tab for details. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!